So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm welcome here in Norfolk for this wonderful commissioning. Welcome Chairman Buck McKeon. Well, all I have to do is try to live up to that big order. CNO Admiral Greenert, Mrs. Greenert, Mrs. Willard, ship sponsor, and your spouse, <laughs> Admiral Willard, my fellow members of Congress, Bobby Scott, who I came to Congress with many, many years ago and served with on the Education Committee. You have three strong members of our Armed Services Committee that represent your area here. Randy Forbes, Rob Whitman, and this young upstart <laughs> doing a fantastic job, Scott Ridgel. Congratulations, all of you distinguished guests, Commander Nelson, officers and members of the crew, and the many friends who are here on this auspicious occasion. You know, after uh, six speakers, I can't help but be reminded of California's motto, silence is golden. <laughs> I have had the opportunity of representing the great golden state of California for almost 20 years now. But being invited here today to this commissioning of this boat and to pay tribute to this crew and those who have built it, those who have supported it, all of you here today, is one of the greatest highlights of my long career in Congress. It's an honor that I will never forget. A few months ago, I had the privilege of spending a couple of days on the USS New Hampshire under the Arctic ice. I saw up close and personal the pride and professionalism of the submarine community. That's why commissioning of one of our attack submarines is such a momentous occasion to me and to all of you. Submariners are a rare and a special breed. All of us here today are witnesses to history, but through their service and stewardship of the California, this crew will make history. It's ironic that one of your boat's predecessors, the battleship USS California, was attacked at Pearl Harbor. As members of our elite submarine force, you will be responsible for maintaining America's forward presence. That presence is America's natural bulwark against sneak attack and surprise. Like the months and years prior to Pearl Harbor attack, the Pacific Rim is heating up. This vessel and this crew is our best defense against the volatility rising in places like the Far East. And should the unthinkable happen, and this nation find itself tangled up in conflict, you will be our best offense against any enemy and any adversary. In a few minutes, Mrs. Willard will order you to bring this ship to life. As Admiral Greenard said, it's out here somewhere. But this wonderful vessel is a feat of American engineering and innovation. But without you men, it is simply a lump of wire and steel. A submarine does not have courage or cunning or determination. It's the crew that will be California's brain, muscle, and lifeblood. You are the soul of this vessel. Now, crews will come and go, but the spirit that you instill as the first crew in this proud boat will ring eternal. That is the great responsibility of the plank owner. You will be the ones who transform the California into a lethal weapon of war, but also understand that your mission is to be a lethal instrument of peace. As submariners, you are America's first line of defense. 
You are our powerful deterrent against aggression and chaos. The submarine is the quiet whisper in our enemies' minds, the doubt that gives them pause. They know that they cannot bring violence to our shores so long as you are on our walls and beneath our seas. They know your mission is to take the fight to the enemy so that the enemy cannot bring the fight to us. Understand that there is no higher calling, no greater duty than to keep this nation out of war. Ladies and gentlemen, this crew will help keep the peace. And ladies and gentlemen, this crew is elite. Our submarine force is the envy of every nation on Earth. It's the pinnacle of centuries worth of tradition, of skill, of pride, and of professionalism. Today, this crew will man the pride of America's manufacturing capacity, a state-of-the-art vessel that will quietly patrol beneath the waves not only as the muscle and the backbone of our fleet, but also its eyes and ears. Members of the crew, always keep your eyes and ears open. Remember your oath and your creed. This nation depends on you and your stewardship of the California. Remember, you are the quiet warriors. You are the silent sentinels. You are the shield around us. You are the chosen few. The sea favors the most capable sailors. Gentlemen, take that, out, that expertise and push out from this safe port and into danger and glory. Explore, dare, discover. May God watch over this crew so that this crew may watch over us. Thank you for your service. Thank you for having me here today. God bless the USS California, and God bless America. Thank you.